We're back with more tributes here on our channel Celebrity Legacy. In this tribute video, we bring a list of American legends who died today and recently in the last few days. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective works and today, unfortunately, ended up passing away. Condolences to the family and fans rest in peace. Before we dive in, we would like to kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals has touched your life, please consider giving it a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Elisa Monte was a prominent Spanish actress known for her work in Spanish cinema during the 1950s through the 1970s. Born Elisa Rosario Ruiz Pinella, she came from a family deeply rooted in the arts, with her sisters Emma Pinella and Terrell Pavez also becoming notable actresses. Monte made her film debut in La Hermana San Sulpicio, 1952, quickly establishing herself as a versatile performer in both dramas and comedies. She gained wider recognition in international films, especially in spaghetti westerns like The Man from Oklahoma, 1965, and The Texican, 1966. Montes also worked with acclaimed Spanish directors, cementing her status as one of the key figures of Spanish cinema during the Franco era. Her acting style was marked by elegance and emotional depth, allowing her to transition between various genres effortlessly. Elisa Monte passed away in Madrid on 9th of October 2024 at the age of 89. Her death marked the end of a significant chapter in Spanish cinema as she left behind a legacy of memorable performances that spanned decades. Thomas J. Donahue was a prominent American business executive, best known for his long tenure as the president and CEO of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Under his leadership from 1997 to 2019, Donahue transformed the chamber into a powerful lobbying force, representing the interests of businesses on a broad range of issues, including taxation, health care, and trade. His strategic focus on aggressive advocacy, fundraising, and coalition building helped the chamber become one of the most influential organizations in Washington, D.C. Before his time at the chamber, Donahue served as president and CEO of the American Trucking Associations, where he honed his skills in corporate leadership and political strategy. Known for his pragmatic approach, Donahue worked with both political parties to push for policies that favored business growth and deregulation. Thomas J. Donahue passed away from congestive heart failure at his home in Arlington, Virginia on October 14, 2024, at the age of 86. His death marked the end of a remarkable career in business and policy advocacy, leaving behind a lasting impact on American commerce and political lobbying. Mike Bullard was a well-known Canadian stand-up comic and television presenter. He gained national recognition with Open Mic with Mike Bullard, which aired from 1997 to 2003, making him the first Canadian to host a successful late-night talk show. His quick wit and sharp humor captivated audiences, and the show became a staple of Canadian television, airing on both CTV and Global. Bullard's career also included stints on radio, where he hosted shows on Toronto's CFRB 1010. Bullard faced personal challenges later in his career, including legal issues related to criminal harassment in 2016. These events impacted his professional life, but he continued to work in comedy and radio, attempting a comeback in subsequent years. Despite his struggles, Bullard remained a prominent figure in Canadian entertainment. Mike Bullard passed away on October 11, 2024. He was 67 years old, leaving behind a legacy as one of Canada's most memorable comedians. His contributions to the Canadian talk show format and stand-up comedy were significant, and his death marked the end of a distinctive voice in Canadian media. Bob Yerkes was a renowned American stuntman whose career spanned over six decades. Known for his extraordinary skills, Yerkes performed in numerous Hollywood films and television shows, becoming a legend in the stunt world. 
His work included stunts for blockbusters like Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, and Batman Returns. He specialized in high falls, car crashes, and aerial stunts, earning a reputation for his bravery and versatility. Yerkes was also deeply involved in the circus, having started performing at a young age in acrobatics and trapeze acts. Throughout his career, he trained other stunt performers and circus artists, helping to develop the next generation of talent. His backyard in California became a famous training ground for aspiring stunt professionals. Bob Yerkes passed away on October 1, 2024, at the age of 92. His passing marked the end of an era in Hollywood stunt work, leaving a legacy of awe-inspiring performances and mentorship. John LaSalle was an American actor known for his roles in both television and film during the 1960s and 1970s. Born in Williamstown, Massachusetts, LaSalle began his acting career in theater before transitioning to television, where he became a familiar face to audiences. He appeared in numerous popular TV series, including Gunsmoke, The Twilight Zone, and Bonanza. One of his most notable roles was as Dr. Peter Guthrie on the gothic soap opera Dark Shadows, where he played a paranormal investigator, earning him a dedicated fan base. In addition to his television work, Laysel also appeared in films such as The Outer Limits and The Greatest Story Ever Told. His versatile acting skills allowed him to portray a wide range of characters, from villains to heroes, solidifying his place in Hollywood during its golden age of television. John LaSalle passed away on October 4, 2024, at the age of 95. His long career and memorable performances left a lasting impact on both classic TV enthusiasts and younger generations discovering his work. Michel Blanc was a celebrated French actor, screenwriter, and director renowned for his versatile performances in both comedy and drama. A founding member of the comedy troupe Le Splendide, Blanc gained popularity in the late 1970s and 1980s with films like Les Bronzés, 1978, and Les Bronzés Fonds du Ski, 1979, which became cult classics in French cinema. His comedic timing and ability to portray quirky, neurotic characters made him a standout in French comedy. Blanc later demonstrated his dramatic prowess in films such as Monsieur Ear, 1989, which earned him critical acclaim and a César Award nomination. He also won a Best Screenplay Award at the Cannes Film Festival for The Escort, 1996, showcasing his talents beyond acting. Over his long career, Blanc appeared in more than 60 films and directed several solidifying his status as a respected figure in French cinema. Michel Blanc passed away from cardiac arrest during a medical examination at Saint Antoine Hospital Paris on 3rd of October, 2024, at the age of 72, leaving behind a rich legacy of both comedic and dramatic work that deeply impacted French film. Sissy Houston was an acclaimed American soul and gospel singer renowned for her powerful voice and as the matriarch of a musical dynasty. She began her career singing gospel in church choirs and later joined the group The Drinkard Singers. Houston gained wider recognition in the 1960s as part of the Sweet Inspirations, a group that famously backed up artists like Elvis Presley and Aretha Franklin. In the 1970s, Sissy launched her solo career earning critical acclaim with songs like Think It Over and winning two Grammy Awards for her gospel albums. Beyond her solo work, Houston is perhaps best known as the mother of legendary singer Whitney Houston, playing a key role in nurturing Whitney's extraordinary talent. Sissy Houston passed away at her home in Newark on October 7, 2024, at the age of 91. Her death marked the end of a remarkable career that spanned six decades. She left a lasting legacy in both gospel and soul music, inspiring generations of artists, including her own family. 
Susan Wojcicki was a pioneering American business executive, best known for her role as the CEO of YouTube from 2014 to 2023. Wojcicki joined Google in its early days in 1999, becoming the company's first marketing manager. She played a key role in the development of Google's advertising platforms, AdSense and AdWords, which became major revenue drivers for the tech giant. In 2006, Roy Chiki advocated for Google's acquisition of YouTube, recognizing the platform's potential. As YouTube's CEO, she transformed the video sharing site into the world's largest video platform, expanding its content offerings and monetization strategies while navigating complex issues around content moderation and creator relations. Roy Chiki was a strong advocate for women in tech, often speaking about the importance of diversity in the industry. Susan Wojcicki passed away at the age of 56 after living with non-small cell lung cancer for two years, leaving behind a significant legacy in the tech world. Her leadership at YouTube reshaped digital media and influenced how people consume content globally. Mitzi McCall was a beloved American actress and comedian known for her versatility in television, film, and voice acting. She first gained attention in the 1960s, performing as part of a comedy duo with her husband, Charlie Brill. The pair appeared on shows like The Ed Sullivan Show, where they were famously part of the same episode as The Beatles' debut in 1964. McCall went on to have a prolific career in television guest starring in numerous hit shows such as All in the Family, The Twilight Zone, and My Three Sons. Her comedic talent made her a sought-after performer in sitcoms and sketch comedy. In addition to acting, she voiced characters in animated series, including The Jetsons and Snorks, endearing herself to a younger audience. Mitzi McCall passed away in 2024 at the age of 93. Her passing marked the end of a long, diverse career that spanned decades. She left a lasting impression in comedy, both on stage and on screen. Kevin Sullivan was a renowned American professional wrestler and booker, best known for his work in various wrestling promotions, including Championship Wrestling from Florida, World Championship Wrestling, and Extreme Championship Wrestling. Sullivan gained fame in the 1980s for his dark and sinister Prince of Darkness persona, which was marked by his eerie promos and his leadership of the cult-like Army of Darkness faction in CWF. In WCW during the 1990s, Sullivan became a major player, both as a wrestler and as a behind-the-scenes booker. He was pivotal in the rise of WCW during the Monday Night Wars, playing a key role in shaping storylines that helped the promotion compete with WWE. His in-ring feuds, including those with Dusty Rhodes and Chris Benoit, became some of the most talked about in wrestling. Sullivan passed away from complications of a blood clot in Concord, Massachusetts on August 9, 2024, at the age of 75. His death marked the end of a legendary wrestling career, both as a performer and a creative force behind some of wrestling's most iconic moments. Today, breaking news. Danny DeVito, the beloved American actor, producer, and director, has recently been the subject of false death rumors. These rumors have circulated on social media, but they are entirely untrue, as no credible sources have confirmed his passing. DeVito, known for his distinctive voice, comedic timing, and iconic stature, remains active in his career and continues to work on various projects. DeVito's career spans over five decades, beginning with his breakout role as Louis De Palma on the TV series Taxi, for which he won a Golden Globe and an Emmy. He became a household name with roles in films such as Romancing the Stone, 1984, Throw Mama from the Train, 1987, and Batman Returns, 1992, where he famously played the villainous Penguin. DeVito has also had a successful voice acting career, notably in Hercules, 1997, and The Lorax, 2012. In recent years, DeVito has gained a new generation of fans with his role as Frank Reynolds 
on the long-running TV series, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Despite the rumors, DeVito remains alive and well, continuing to leave a lasting mark on Hollywood.